I'm here in Midland today to survey damage from last week's flood and get some updates from the team on the ground. Um, I went over to the Emergency Operations Center earlier. We did a drive so we could look at Sanford Lake and Sanford um, and really kind of get a better picture of what it is that we're confronting and the incredible challenges that we have. Um, experts are saying that this is a 500 year event. It's going to have a major impact on Midland County and beyond for the time to come. And I want to thank the emergency responders on the ground who've been helping Midland families through this crisis. Thank the state police, the National Guard who will be in town to ramp up and do additional COVID-19 testing. First responders, local emergency response teams, and the leadership at the local EOC. I also want to thank everyone who's opened up their homes to their family and friends who've been impacted by the flooding. And there are a lot of community partners that have um, stepped up to help. And the outpouring of people and businesses continues to be an example, a great example of what who we are here in Michigan. And I want to thank you for inspiring not just me, but people across our state. I want to show you that I'm working with local state and federal partners to help those impacted get back on their feet. I was texting with Congressman Molinar uh, before I got here and want to acknowledge Senator Stamas and Representative Wentworth. So last week I requested a federal emergency disaster declaration to ensure that those in impacted areas have the support that they need. FEMA granted my request, but the initial approval is limited to certain direct assistance from federal agencies to deal with immediate challenges. It could be, and we're hopeful that it will be expanded as the state and FEMA completes the damage assessment. I think it's important to acknowledge that uh, while the need is immediate, sometimes the relief takes a little bit longer and we're working incredibly hard to try to expedite that. It's a good start, but we've got to take additional measures to protect lives and property from further damage. Now, these devastating floods have forced thousands of people from their homes and have caused a tremendous amount of damage to our infrastructure. I'm hopeful that the federal government will soon approve the full funding request to help Michigan families rebuild after this disaster. I've also declared a state of emergency in Midland, Aranac, Gladwin, Iosco, and Saginaw counties to ensure access to critical resources. I'm committed to doing everything that I can to hold those responsible uh, for the dam safety accountable. Today I sent a letter to the Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy directing them to investigate what caused the Edenville Dam and Sanford Dam to fail that has resulted in this historic flooding in several mid-Michigan counties. I also asked EGLE to review the issue of dam safety in Michigan and provide recommendations on policy, legislative, and enforcement reforms that can prevent these harms from re being repeated elsewhere. This flooding forced thousands to evacuate their homes. As I said, it destroyed critical infrastructure, ruined homes and businesses, and cause major natural resource damage. And those responsible need to be held accountable. As residents begin the painstaking work of picking up the pieces of their lives from this disaster, they deserve to know why these dams failed, why they've been uprooted, and uprooting businesses and lives as well. Again, I wanna thank the emergency responders on the ground for helping Midland area families over the past week I want to thank Dow, I want to thank TCF, formerly known as Chemical Bank, for all of the incredible resources that they're working to make available for people in the community. It's more important than ever that we reach out and be kind to one another in the midst of this global pandemic as well. We will get through this if we step up to this challenge and take care of one another. And that means please continuing to reach out to your neighbors, checking in. As tough as the last 10 weeks have been from COVID-19, this is an unimaginable additional burden, and that's why it's so important that we all continue to support this community. Please reach out and stay informed as we continue to navigate next steps here.